a wee bit of real talk for you. This is the truth behind social media for photographers. You don't actually need it to grow your business. Here's why. I don't like to be completely dependent on a platform that could quite literally shut down tomorrow. So for instance, if your entire photography business relies on Instagram to get clients, to get brands, basically find any sort of work, I genuinely find that really risky because all these platforms could shut down tomorrow and then what will you be left with? I know for wedding and portrait photographers, for instance, they rely a lot on Instagram for the general public to really find out about them and get in touch with them. And I totally understand that and that's so fair. But if these platforms were to shut down tomorrow, for instance, the only thing that you'd probably have is word of mouth or referrals. And of course those are really important, but let's be serious, like that's not gonna make up for 90% of your business. You should really maybe take a step back and think, if I don't have these platforms, if these platforms are not in my life, then how am I gonna find and drum up this business? And that is how I run my day to day. I run my day to day thinking that I do not rely on these platforms, that these platforms are basically gonna get me no leads, no clients, with this sort of mentality really allows me to sort of reach for the stars in a lot of different ways because you have to think outside the box. You almost have to go back to like old school sales. I think that there's a lot of value in that. I really think that platforms like Instagram and Facebook have really affected the photography community. So for example, I'm a food photographer, so a lot of influencers, they share their recipes, they do videos, they do photos, and that's really great, especially for people who want to build their following and are able to make a full-time job out of something they love doing. Now that's brilliant, but as a professional photographer, I feel like a lot of times brands will try and take advantage of you if you say are trying to build a following on Instagram, you've got 2,000 followers, brands might reach out to you through your Instagram and really try and chance it because they're used to maybe not paying as much for micro-influencers and they'll try to take advantage of you and basically say, can, can you take a photo of um, our brand product, can you develop a recipe, can you do this, can you do that, and really not pay you what you should be paid and pay you almost as a micro-influencer. I am very clear off the bat, I have never received a lead to work with a client through any sort of social media platform. I have had requests from clients to make sure I'm a genuine person to send me my Instagram profile. I send it across, but I make it very clear that what they have to base their working relationship with me off of is my website and portfolio. Setting these boundaries are crucial straight off the bat because you're basically telling the brand, look, this is what I'm about, this is my work, I'm a professional, and so you have to pay me accordingly. Now, the question you'll ask me is, are they always happy with that? Do they always accept it? The answer is probably no, but that doesn't matter because in my opinion, I really think that it builds up your credibility and they will get back to you, even if it's in the future, for more professional work. I find social media platforms, and this is no surprise, has made it really, really difficult for photographers. So say a brand is looking to work with someone to take photos of, say, their new product for Christmas time and they're looking at a professional food photographer and they're looking at an influencer who focuses on sharing recipes and food. You are up against someone who is not a professional. When you do this day in and day out and you literally pour your heart and soul into all your creative work and all your photos and you invest in courses, you invest in equipment, you invest in all these things for your photography business, just to be up against an influencer who in their own right is very successful and has done very well, I find it unfair. And really because of that, that I don't use social media really as a platform to grow my business. And before you come at me, I use YouTube as a social media platform. Yeah, sure. The idea behind YouTube is really, I'm not gonna give you a sub story here, but I was really struggling at the start of my freelancing career, especially in photography, especially in the food industry, because I feel like there were a lot of things people weren't speaking about. They weren't speaking about bad times. They weren't speaking about struggling with clients, struggling when they lost clients, struggling with this, struggling with that. And I feel like that is the main reason why I started a YouTube channel, was really so that anyone, just one person could resonate with what I was saying and maybe not feel so alone in their own journey. What matters to me is really being able to help that one person. That is the reason really why I share these videos, is creating a community of photographers who can relate to me and a community of photographers that I can relate to as well. I just wanted to make that clear. I also like to make it very clear to brands, and I learned this the hard way, 
that I don't need them, they need me. And I think that adds another special touch to investing in you and your photography business. In the madness that is social media today, don't feel like you need to conform to all these platforms. I mean, there's everything, Facebook, Instagram, Vero, Twitter, this, that, whatever, it never ends. So always make sure that you are consistent with the one thing and that is your business without having to conform to algorithms, trends, you name it, and just really be part of a community that you're happy to be a part of. I'm not saying don't use a platform if that is a great way for you to find clients, especially interacting with the general public. That way of achieving business genuinely does not work for me. It never has and I don't think it's something that I want to explore. There is something very special about reaching out to someone via email that you have even even search to see their position in the company. Reaching out to these people by name, look like you've done your homework. I mean, all these things are really, really important and they are what are gonna stand you apart from the crowd. I've had client meetings before where one or two clients have actually mentioned it's really nice to not have been approached through direct message on Instagram and Facebook and to actually receive a professional email that is signed with your signature, that's got professional portfolio that people can look at. If you've got your website with your portfolio, with your best images, test testimonials and contact page that is all you need and believe me just having those things will go such such a long way and also just being yourself and showcasing your personality and your style of photography through your portfolio all these things are so crucial for those of you who basically are struggling like in the beginning I thought that I had to have a big following on social media to ever get anywhere or to become a photographer you really are blindsided nowadays that you need this massive following to grow a successful business whether that's selling a product, whether that's as a freelancer, whether that's as anything really, selling a service. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's just this constant, you think you have to have followers. It's almost like currency, isn't it? Like you have to have these followers to dignify what you're doing. You really don't. It's also worth thinking outside the box and just thinking if all this were to disappear tomorrow, what would I have left apart from your referrals or word of mouth? And all those things are really important to consider. I would definitely recommend to start pitching yourself as a professional. If you're a photographer and you're really struggling or you're trying to build yourself up on social media, there is another way. You can really pitch yourself as a professional with a great portfolio, great testimonials, reaching out, professional email, to your dream brands and trust me it will set you apart from the crowd as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you next week